In this video, we demonstrate the Carbon Project's next generation electronic flight bag. This EFB includes cutting edge mapping and support to next gen data formats and services, including AAXM and WXXM. The software is .NET based and can run on any supporting hardware, including mobile PCs. Our demo begins at 1 a.m. Universal Time. The Carbon Project's EFB is preloaded with information about flight OWS-123. It automatically receives updates about the origin, destination, and diversion airports relevant to the flight plan. The data is fetched from a Snowflake Web Feature Service in the form of Aeronautical Information Exchange Model, or AIXM for short. Spatiotemporal data is displayed in a clear visual way, along with other geospatial elements such as aerial photography, WMS-based maps, and GML. Due to a 3-hour delay, the flight crew arrives only at 0430 hours to the flight deck. The pilot can now recheck the flight plan information. The EFB automatically requests updates to all relevant airports, including Dallas-Fort Worth, Arlanda Airport in Sweden, Kangsangen Airport in Sweden, and Airborne Air Park Airport in Wilmington, Ohio. The pilot decides to check the real-time terminal aerodrome forecast regarding the weather conditions at the diversion airport in Ohio. At 0445, the pilot receives a digital notification event. The pilot checks the event information provided as an X notum from an event service. The event alerts that the diversion airport in Wilmington is closed due to weather conditions. Air traffic control confirms. The X Notam event is graphically and textually displayed, though that the runway is now painted in red. Real-time TAF data fetched as WXXM from NOAA servers provides additional details about the weather conditions. Shortly after, the pilot uses the EFB tools to select Atlanta International as the new diversion airport. The EFB now automatically updates this airport information. At 04.50 hours, the pilot gets familiar with the selected airport by adding AIXM-based charts, such as standard instrument departure and instrument approach vectors. The Carbon Project's next-generation EFB includes sophisticated display capabilities and touchscreen interface that allow new and modern ways to improve the flight crew's awareness and orientation with the flight plan. At 0520 hours, the plane takes off. The Carbon Project's next-generation EFB maintains a bi-directional digital communication with the ground control. Relevant information about the ongoing flight is either fetched from a web feature service or directly received from an event service. This information includes weather updates and security bulletins. Behind the scenes, a smart system of spatial and temporal filtering is utilized, assuring that the flight crew gets only information that may affect its flight course. About 8 hours later, at 13.10 hours, the plane enters the Stockholm airspace. An ex notam event appears. The pilot checks the event and finds that, due to severe snowstorm, all runways at the destination airport of Orlando are closed. Note that all three runways are now painted in red.
A new destination is selected at the Kangsagen airport. The flight resumes toward its new destination. A couple of hours later, flight OWS-123 lands successfully.